In the realm of philosophy, one name stands out as a profound thinker who challenged traditional beliefs and explored the depths of human existence, Soren Kierkegaard. Born in 1813 in Copenhagen, Denmark, Kierkegaard was exposed to philosophical thinking from a young age. His father, a deeply philosophical man, engaged in discussions and readings that fostered Kierkegaard's intellectual curiosity. As a young adult, Kierkegaard pursued studies in philosophy and theology at the University of Copenhagen. However, he grew disillusioned with the historical and philosophical works he encountered. He felt that these works were detached from the reality of lived experience, lacking depth and authenticity. This dissatisfaction would shape the direction of Kierkegaard's philosophical endeavors. One of Kierkegaard's most notable contributions to philosophy is his concept of angst or existential anxiety. In his seminal work, The Concept of Anxiety, Kierkegaard delves into the depths of this unique human experience, unveiling profound insights into the nature of our existence. Angst, according to Kierkegaard, is not to be confused with anxiety disorders that are classified by medical professionals. Instead, it represents a response to the fundamental aspects of the human condition, the unknown and uncertainty that pervade our lives. Kierkegaard invites us to contemplate the existential reality we face. From the moment of our birth, we are thrust into a world that is inherently unpredictable and filled with possibilities. We encounter situations, choices and dilemmas that provoke a deep sense of unease within us. It is the recognition of the vastness of existence, the magnitude of what is still unknown, and the weight of responsibility that arises from our freedom. To Kierkegaard, angst is not merely a psychological state, it is a philosophical and existential inquiry. It calls into question our very existence and forces us to confront the limits of our knowledge and understanding. We are confronted with the mysteries of life, the inevitability of death, the uncertainty of our future, and the inherent paradoxes that accompany our human nature. Kierkegaard believed that angst arises precisely because we are conscious beings capable of self-reflection and aware of our own subjectivity. This self-awareness exposes us to the profound tension between our longing for certainty and the inherent ambiguity of our existence. We desire stability and security, yet we are confronted with the reality that life is in constant flux and no absolute certainty can be attained. Kierkegaard's philosophy provides a profound understanding of the relationship between anxiety, freedom and the pursuit of a meaningful life. His famous words, anxiety is the dizziness of freedom, encapsulate his belief that anxiety arises from the inherent freedom and responsibility we bear within the vast uncertainty of existence. In each moment of our lives, we are confronted with choices. We possess the freedom to make decisions and shape the course of our lives. This freedom, however, comes with a profound sense of responsibility. We are accountable for the consequences of our actions, and this awareness can evoke a deep sense of anxiety. Kierkegaard recognized that the modern human condition is often characterized by a constant state of anxiety. We are bombarded with an overwhelming array of choices, inundated with information, and faced with the challenge of making decisions that align with our desired outcomes. The weight of these decisions can be overwhelming, leading to a persistent unease as we hope that our choices will alleviate our existential anxieties even though there is no guarantee of doing so. Contrary to the common perception of anxiety as inherently negative, Kierkegaard viewed it as an essential part of life, a profound experience that holds immense potential for our personal and existential development. He believed that how we respond to anxiety 
and the choices we make in its presence determine the difference between a fully lived life and a life of emptiness and despair. Kierkegaard introduced the concept of passion as a means to navigate and transcend anxiety. He understood that the experience of anxiety could be transformed into a driving force for personal growth and self-realization through the cultivation of passionate pursuits. He believed that passion has the potential to infuse our lives with purpose, vitality, and a profound sense of fulfillment. Passion, according to Kierkegaard, takes on various forms, encompassing love, creative endeavors, personal growth, career pursuits, and ideologies. It is through the pursuit of these passions that we can find profound resonance and a sense of meaning in our lives. However, what matters most to Kierkegaard is that these passions are rooted in subjective truth. For Kierkegaard, subjective truth refers to the truth that holds personal significance and authenticity for each individual. It is a truth that resonates deeply within the core of our being. Rather than adhering solely to external or objective standards, Kierkegaard encourages us to explore the depths of our own subjectivity and seek out the passions that align with our unique perspectives, values and aspirations. He wrote, The crucial thing is to find a truth which is truth for me, to find the idea for which I am willing to live and die. These words encapsulate the essence of Kierkegaard's philosophy, highlighting the significance of embracing subjective truth and the existential dedication required to pursue what holds personal significance. Kierkegaard recognized that the pursuit of subjective truth involves a departure from the realm of objective reasons and intellectual certainty. It requires us to move beyond the confines of conventional wisdom and societal norms, instead delving deep into our own subjectivity to uncover the truths that resonate with our being. The commitment to subjective truth calls for a leap of faith, a profound trust in the authenticity of our own experiences, perspectives and aspirations. It is an acknowledgement that our subjective truths hold immense power and value, even if they cannot be objectively proven or universally accepted. This leap of faith is both emotional and existential in nature. It entails a willingness to embrace uncertainty and to confront the anxieties that arise from stepping outside the comfort of collective beliefs. It is a commitment to living a life guided by what holds personal significance, even in the absence of external validation or intellectual consensus. Anxiety, with its gripping grip on our thoughts and emotions, can often be paralyzing, hindering our forward progress and decision-making. It casts a shadow over our lives, clouding our judgment and sapping our motivation. However, Kierkegaard believed that succumbing to anxiety and giving in to inaction only leads to despair and a fragmented experience of existence. Kierkegaard recognized that anxiety, if left unaddressed, can consume us, rendering us stagnant and disconnected from the vibrancy of life. When we allow anxiety to dictate our choices and immobilize us, we relinquish our power to shape our own destiny. We become trapped in a cycle of hesitation, fear and missed opportunities. In contrast, Kierkegaard emphasized the importance of confronting anxiety head-on, of mustering the courage to face the discomfort and uncertainty it brings. He understood that growth and self-realization require us to move beyond the confines of our anxieties and take action in their presence. By confronting anxiety, we reclaim agency over our lives. We acknowledge the inherent risks and uncertainties that come with making choices, but we refuse to be held captive by them. We recognize that anxiety, though discomforting, can serve as a compass guiding us toward areas of personal growth and transformation. At the heart of Kierkegaard's philosophy lies the profound understanding that the development of the self is intricately linked to our ability 
to face the anxiety of existence. He believed that true self-realization and meaning can only be achieved by taking leaps of faith and wholeheartedly embracing the uncertainty that life presents. In doing so, we resist the temptation to conform to societal norms and escape into distractions that hinder personal growth and self-discovery. Kierkegaard recognized that the journey towards self-realization and personal fulfillment is not a comfortable one. It demands that we confront the existential anxieties that arise from the unknown, the unpredictable, and the complexities of human existence. By willingly engaging with this anxiety, we embark on a path of self-exploration and self-transcendence. True self-realization, according to Kierkegaard, requires a resolute commitment to authenticity and a rejection of the pressures to conform. Society often imposes expectations and standards that can stifle our individuality, causing us to lose touch with our true selves. To find meaning and purpose, we must resist the temptation to mold ourselves into preconceived notions and instead honor our unique perspectives, passions and aspirations. Kierkegaard warned against the dangers of succumbing to conformity and complacency. He believed that when we conform to societal norms without question, we forfeit our agency and sacrifice the potential for personal growth. True fulfillment and self-discovery lie beyond the confines of conformity. They are found by embracing the uncertainty, venturing into the unknown, and embracing the richness of our individual experiences. Escapism and distraction are also obstacles on the path to self-realization. Kierkegaard cautioned against indulging in behaviors and activities that numb our anxieties or provide temporary relief, but ultimately hinder our personal growth. Whether it be mindless entertainment, substance abuse, or excessive busyness, these distractions divert our attention from the deeper questions and challenges that propel us towards self-actualization. To cultivate self-development, Kierkegaard emphasized the need for introspection, self-reflection, and an unwavering commitment to personal growth. He advocated for deepening our understanding of our desires, fears, and motivations. By engaging in this inner exploration, we gain insight into our authentic selves and the paths that lead us to a more meaningful existence. Kierkegaard's philosophy encourages us to embrace solitude and silence allowing for moments of contemplation and self-discovery. By carving out time for introspection, we create space to confront our anxieties, examine our choices, and align ourselves with our deepest values and aspirations. Through this process, we cultivate a heightened sense of self-awareness, enabling us to navigate the complexities of existence with clarity and purpose. We discover the unique gifts and talents that we possess and find ways to express them authentically in the world. In conclusion, we reflect on the power and significance of anxiety in the human experience. Anxiety is a natural response to the disquieting, confusing and uncertain nature of existence. In a world filled with choices and possibilities, Anxiety can become overwhelming. However, it can also be a driving force toward greatness and self-actualization. We must recognize that life will never be entirely stable or devoid of fear. There will never be a perfect optimal time to take action. In the face of impossible decisions and uncertainty, Kierkegaard encourages us to make choices that pursue the heights and depths of the unknown. His framework rooted in faith in the Christian God, can be applied to any subjective view of meaning and purpose. In a society that often stigmatizes anxiety as a weakness or illness, Kierkegaard's perspective reminds us that anxiety is an inherent aspect of human consciousness. By embracing anxiety, learning to live with it, and taking leaps of faith into what holds personal meaning and purpose, we can lead more fulfilled and authentic lives.